Well, I want to do a quick video here to talk about painting with latex paint. I started this prior to AirVenture 2015 and when I did my painting I was using the green frog tape to mask off these lines here and I ended up with bleed over so that the the red bled over onto the white because the white was my base coat. So coming back to that I remasked with the white and I used the um, uh, what have we got here? The 3M Edge Lock Blue Tape. It says 2080 EL. And Oratex also has this uh, masking tape, about a quarter inch wide. And I did a combination of both. So I have the, the red Oratex tape first, and I put the, the blue tape over to give me a little bit wider edge so that I could make sure that if I went over a little bit, I'd have room to go. And uh, the challenge, I think, is, is that when you're painting with the latex paint, and you thin it with the windshield wiper solution. It's 25% windshield wiper solution, so one part uh, windshield wiper solution and three parts uh, high quality latex paint. Uh, it's so thin that it, I think it bleeds under normal masking tape. So pulling this off, you can see that this Oratex did a fantastic job. We got a nice clean line there. Uh, there's a little bit of where I think my line was a little crooked here, so you can see maybe not. Uh, there's a little bit of the, the bleed through you can see from the, uh, the red there. But um, I'm very happy with this masking tape. Nice clean edge, nice clean line. Now I'll be going back over this again to mask and touch up the red just to smooth that out. Probably one or two coats. Got a little bit of the flaked off paint there. But uh, all in all, this is working out extremely well. I'm, I'm really quite happy with it. I think also based on what I'm seeing from the blue masking tape here, the 3M edge guard tape, that it is working extremely well also. I was a little concerned that maybe it would bleed over, but as we look at this, and I pull this down, you can see it leaves a very nice clean edge. Now of course that's laying over the Oratex masking tape, but you know, um, I have a sample that I did with just the blue edge guard on the rudder itself. So I'll take a moment here after I get this last bit of uh, tape off and we'll take a look at that. Let me see where that edge is here. There it is. Oh, there we go. So for those of you who are looking for a, a nice, inexpensive method to, to paint, the latex works extremely well. I'll get the link for the video. There's a video on the EAA site and also a YouTube video and the website. And I forget the guy's name, but I'll have the information here with this video uh, to get you that link. But... Um, the quality of the masking tape makes all the difference in the world and this has turned out extremely well and I'm really quite pleased with it. So let me get that uh, rudder and I'll see how that turned out. Okay, so here's my rudder and let's take a peek at how this fared with just the 3M edge guard tape itself. So I'll get that edge started and let's take a look together here. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Um, I've got a tiny bit of bleed through. Um, it looks like, again, I might not have had a straight line when I first masked this because I can see underneath here a tiny bit of that bleed through. And right here on the uh, pink edge tape, there's a little bit of bleed through, and that's just because it didn't seat down to the edge tape. So that's my fault for not getting a good tight seal. On this side, where I did make a tight seal, I see no leak through at all. Um, I got a few spots here that are going to need attention, but I'm going to be repainting the red to clean that up. So I've got a, a few small spots that I'm going to have to pay attention to. Uh, I think, based on what I'm seeing here, is that the Ortex tape is, is probably uh, the key to success. Uh, I talked to Lars Gleitman when I picked this up, and he said that it is has an extra gummy uh, adhesive that when you're working with the Ortex fabric or, or any fabric with the weave 
that extra bit of adhesive will get into the grooves and seal them off better. So those little grooves in the fabric. Now I have you know previous paint underneath this and it's leaving nice clean edge this time so I, I prepped this edge much better. I'm happy with that result. Coming around here again I can see and I'll, I'll bring this in closer for you because you can see then what the frog tape did when it bled through. Uh, it's not a very clean edge when I removed that tape. But coming in over here, you can kind of see this edge here. And that's the bleed through that happened with the other masking tape. But I do have a very nice clean edge even where the 3M tape was going over that. So um, I think I'm, I'm, well I do know I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. So I'm going to keep using that 3M tape and I, I do recommend it. Now I also picked up some of the other 3M blue exterior tape. So I did a test with this on a patch. I'm going to try again uh, with my next job to see how this goes. And it's very sticky. Um, this stuff, because if you can see that there's little lines on it when you tear it, it tears straight off. So that's a nice little feature they built into the structure of this tape. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. So thank you. That's it for uh, my quick little demonstration on masking tape for painting with the latex on the Oratex. Oh, and by the way, I will have links for you later.